Hello and welcome to Vidram Red channel and also welcome you to the series of video tutorials on develop Bluetooth 5.2 IoT applications with Thunderbolt BG22. So in the last tutorial we have seen how we can control the uh, the onboard LED that is LED zero uh, from the smartphone. So now in this tutorial uh, we are going to see the reading the LED status uh, from this smartphone. So once we write the value to the LED how we can read the state of the uh, LED uh, on the board. Okay, so using uh, BLE, so we will see that, and so that we can um, achieve using the read user characteristics. So in the previous tutorial, we have seen the write user characteristics. Now in this tutorial, we are going to see how we can read the characteristics. Moving on. So now uh, we will look at the Bluetooth stack operation flowchart or the sequence stack. Now, so I will take a pen again. Okay. Okay, so again, similarly, um, so we need to uh, read the request and once you uh, read the request from the mobile app, what will happen is this event will be generated and it eventually go to the read request. Okay, and then on the server side, that is from the uh, BG, uh, BG22 side, so you will be able to see this uh, request. So earlier we used to see a, a, a write request instead of write request you will be able to see a read request and again once it is read and the server will reply the acknowledgement okay and that is a it will send this event again uh, with the form of a response and then we need to read this response and we will be able to see this yeah that's all about the uh, flowchart and the workflow so we will uh, try to implement this application in the code and then we will see uh, whether we are able to read the LED status or not so we will use this uh, the previously created project okay if you don't know how to create the project and if you are looking or uh, directly jumping to this video so I recommended you to go to the all the videos uh, tutorials which are available in this playlist okay so this project we have created uh, um, in the last uh, tutorial so now we will use the same and then we will uh, try to add the code below the uh, write request and before that uh, we have also seen one problem okay that is uh, when we try to see this name and we are unable to see this in the uh, on the efr32 connect app i really don't know the reason why uh, we are not able to see it is only accepting the uh, eight bytes okay so even though we mentioned more than 8 bytes and the length is also provided here uh, it is not accepting that maybe if i found the solution to that problem then uh, i will uh, uh, try to provide that information in the later tutorials okay so for now we will also give the uh, name uh, device name as the led and this is of 3 bytes okay so let's make give it as 3 bytes and then save it okay and apart from the um, uh, this device name change okay and uh, we need to also change in the LED characteristics. Okay, go to the uh, LED service and uh, under the LED characteristics. So previously we have seen how to write the uh, uh, values from the smartphone to the server. That is the reason why we have enabled the write property. But for now we are going to read the uh, data from the server that is from the BG22. So we need to enable the read property. Okay, so we have enabled this so now you save the code automatically code will be generated for the changes now go to the app.c here okay and nothing changes okay so we need to write the code for um, reading the led status okay as i said here again um, uh, we need to uh, check this request id okay and even if you can find that in the um, documentation here so in the documentation go to api reference and then in the api reference go to the GAT server and here you will be able to find the all the uh, modules so we are going to uh, look at this one which is a so slbt event GAT server user write user read request id copy this okay so go to simple search studio and so write another case statement here so case this is the id we are looking at and then make a break okay under which we need to write the code 
so again uh, uh, we need to check for the uh, this one if the characteristics is uh, uh, same as this okay so copy this line okay so if the characteristic is uh, related to uh, get db underscore led that is true because the characteristic we have given the name for here is uh, led after it matches with the um, characteristics uh, we are going to read the uh, led status so for that uh, we have a function call call as cell um, led press the control space bar to pop up the all the options and there is a, a function called uh, uh, led get state and it accepts the led handle okay i think we need to provide led sl underscore led okay led zero and uh, to store the uh, return value so we are going to define a one variable here okay which is of uh, sl led state underscore t and uh, give the name as led status okay and then come down and uh, here capture the led status so once we have captured this led status uh, we need to send this to the uh, client that is our mobile phone so for that we need to use the one more api okay so that api is the slbt get server send user read response okay click on this and uh, this is the function okay and this is the written type and you can see it accepts the connection characteristic and the error code and uh, apart from that value length and uh, there is a value and all the same length okay so copy this function okay so this is the function so we will write one by one so that uh, all the parameters will be visible here so first one is the connection of course the connection is same as this one okay copy this there is a slight change instead of write it is a read okay and then characteristic is the get db underscore led and of course the status error code is the sl status underscore okay and the value length okay so the value of the length also we can give like size of um, this one okay and the status and this one is the value and the value we need to pass it as a ampersand okay so take this one so and provide the ampersand here and the send length okay this is the one of the parameter that we need to pass so you can define a one more uh, variable here of uh, int 16 underscore t sent underscore l n then come down and here you can pass it as in the form of ampersand okay so you can find all the details here if you go to that uh, api call so give the scalability number to maybe increase the way uh, from 5000 to 50000 and apply and close so here you can find what is uh, each and every parameter uh, so the cent length is a pointer again that is the reason why we use the ampersand and value is also a pointer that is the reason why we use an ampersand and which is of type this one is a integer you int 16 underscore two. okay and here you will be able to find each and every parameter okay what we need to pass for example value length is the length of the data in okay and the and here uh, this value is the value of the characteristic value to send to the get client okay we want to send only the one byte that is the reason why uh, is selected the uh, um, led status length only 
and then now uh, sent length is the length of the data sent to the remote gap client okay so that's all for so now uh, click on this project and then click on the hammer icon to compile the project now we can see that project is compiled successfully without any errors and warnings okay so now go and expand the binaries make sure that your board is connected to the pc now click on the dot s37 file right click flash to the device and then click on the program to program the binary file onto the bg22 board so now flashing is completed close this yeah now we can see okay uh, on the right side uh, i'm showing the uh, efr connect app okay so now we have changed the uh, get dbc here device name to uh, led okay now it is displaying here led completely so it is only accepting uh, 8 bytes uh, i'm figuring out the issue okay so once i have that information i'll provide you that okay so for now we will go with only uh, 8 bytes okay um, i will not give you more than 8 bytes it, this is for just indication okay it won't affect the application okay and then okay so now let's go and connect to the board okay yeah now again go to the uh, unknown services and click on the more info and here you will be able to see both both read and uh, uh, write okay so first we will read okay let's see what is coming here and uh, we are seeing only 00, zero. that means currently the led on the bg22 it is not uh, turned on so it is actually turned off so that is the reason why we are seeing 00, zero. now what we'll do is we'll uh, click on the right okay and uh, we'll try to write the value one okay and click on send so it is sent and you will able to see that the led is turned on on the bg22 board now what we are going to do is uh, we are going to uh, read again let's see what is the value you will able to see a small refresh here okay okay and now you see if you read the value then it is coming as a zero so this is how uh, you can able to read the uh, status from the server to the client again i will write the zero so again i'll write the zero and send it here now it is sent now again i'm now you can see on the board the led is turned off now we are going to read again and you should see the zero here okay so that's all about this tutorial so if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching it.